Hi students and staff, I am Lieutenant Troy Ferguson with the Pasco Sheriff's Office School Resource Unit. As you remember last year, we learned a lot about the ABCs of safety, alert and avoid stranger danger, building a fort and barricading or locking down, and countering. That's the part where you follow your teacher's directions to get away from stranger danger. Your safety is our top priority, and in this video we will discuss what to do if you are on campus but not inside a classroom and there is a stranger, danger, or other dangerous situation at your school. Perhaps you're in the lunchroom, an assembly area, or in the library. You should do the following things. First, listen to your teachers. They know what to do and will help you get to safety fast. Look for a safe place to go and hide quickly. This is a time when you're allowed to run. You shouldn't walk. Look for unlocked doors or open rooms and go inside and find a place to hide, lock down and barricade or build your fort. If a door is locked, keep moving until you find an unlocked door, even if this means going outside. Find any space in your school where you can go inside. This could be your media center, an office, a closet, or even a bathroom. Just any safe place where you can hide. If the safe place is a bathroom, step onto the toilet seat and crouch down so that your feet and head are not visible from outside the stall. Remember, do not just stay still. Keep moving until you find a safe place to hide. If you can, tell a responsible adult where you are when it is safe to do so. If you are at lunch, always know where the doors are and run to safety with your teachers. Any doors that help you get away from stranger danger will work. This may mean going into areas you are not normally allowed to go. If danger occurs when you are outside, such as at your PE or recess period, you should do the following. Do what your teachers tell you and quickly go with your teacher to safety. Please keep in mind that the safest place may not be back inside your school. In fact, it could be outside behind a building, behind a large tree or bush, completely off of your campus. It could be in a parking lot, beside a parked car or a bus, preferably near the motor or the wheel. Concrete walls or other solid buildings will do. Remember, the most important thing we have learned today is to always follow the instructions of your teachers and to tell a responsible adult where you are when it is safe to do so. And remember, when you are in a safe place, do not open the door until a police officer or teacher opens the door with their key. They will tell you when it is safe to come out.